Hello everyone, it's JD here from Studio 2105. Welcome back to Mixstream Online and you are watching Weekly Update Wednesdays, episode 23. First of all, a happy Malaysia Day to all the Malaysian viewers and subscribers. I hope you guys are having a great holiday, okay? Now, uh, a warm welcome as usual to all the new viewers and a thank you and a big shout out to all the patrons who help to support this channel financially. Uh, if you haven't done so, head on down and click on the subscribe button and uh, also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. Uh, do sign up for the uh, email list at uh, bit.ly slash online and uh, you'll be able to get um, my personal snare drum sample library and also my reverb IR libraries. Uh, do consider signing up to become a patron or I head on down to this website www.patreon.com slash studio2105 right? uh, Help to support the channel, help to support um, the creation of more content such as videos like this And uh, not only that, right? if you sign up to become a patron, you also get special perks and benefits For example, one-on-one -on -one, um, tutorial and mentoring sessions uh, Exclusive behind-the-scenes content and also Discount codes, which you can use towards any of the studio services right here at Studio 2105. Um, last week was week 2 of Direct Access 1.0 Music Production Workshop. Um, in week 2, I covered bass recording, post-production techniques related to drums, drum editing, and also drum sample replacement. Um, during our classroom sessions as well, we covered topics such as properties of sound and also uh, introduction to MIDI. Now, videos um, of the workshop will be made available real, real soon, right? I'm in the process of uh, editing them. Now, for more info on how to access the videos, all right? Do sign up for the mailing list, all right, and you'll be informed when it's out. Or you can also follow the uh, official Direct Access Instagram page. Link is going to be down here, right, in the description, uh, video description as well. Check it out. Follow the uh, Instagram page so that you uh, know once the videos are out. All right, for this week, we have a, kind of a two-part question from Facebook, and here it goes. I just bought a pair of monitor speakers. Can I use a quarter-inch TS cables? Or must I use TRS cables as specified in the manual? Alright, the answer is going to be a little bit technical, so I hope that uh, you hang in there and bear with me. Now, the two most commonly used uh, connectors in professional audio are the uh, XLR and the quarter-inch phone, okay? Of which there are several variants, okay? Each are designated by the number and also the type of contacts, okay? Now, there are many other types of uh, audio um, connectors that we also use both in the studio and in live sound. For example, the D-Sub, BNC, DIN, etc., okay? But for uh, our question, all right, but for our example, we're already going to be talking about the TS and TRS. So what does TS and TRS stand for? Now, T here stands for tip, R stands for ring, and S stands for sleeve. Right, so a quarter inch TRS cable, so right, has three right, contacts right, on its plug. The tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Whilst the TS cable has only two points, right? The tip and the sleeve. The most commonly seen quarter inch TS cable is the good old guitar and instrument cable. Now this carries a mono and unbalanced signal, okay? Let's bear that in mind. So now the one which um, gets a lot of people confused is when they encounter a TRS cable. Now um, a lot of people will call it a stereo cable well, whilst an audio engineer will most likely and probably refer to it as a balanced cable. Now, and depending on the situation, either of them could be right. Now, however, TRS cables can be found, right, in both mono and stereo applications, right? Not necessarily when you see a TRS cable, you immediately call it a stereo cable, right? 
It's not necessarily the case. This could also be used in mono applications. Now, the important thing to know right, and to take note is that the type of connector, whether it's a TS or a TRS, right, does not determine, it does not denote whether it actually carries a mono or stereo signal, okay? Right, so uh, as I mentioned earlier, a TS cable carries a um, mono unbalanced signal. However, a TRS cable, on the other hand, can carry both balanced and unbalanced mono and also stereo signals, okay? It all depends right on how it is wired internally okay so it's not the type of connector it's how it is wired now generally speaking it is always better to use the appropriate type of connector right with its corresponding uh, input jack right for example use a trs with a balanced uh, input right and a ts with a ts okay now here are the reasons why a balanced cable carries the audio signal on two wires right so we refer to them as the hot, right? Usually the positive, right? And cold, okay? Usually this is the negative. Now, so one of these, right? Um, usually the uh, either the either the hot or the cold is face inverted, right? 180 degrees with the other. Now, there's a third wire, right? The ground wire, okay? And this is connected to the shield, the S portion of the connector. Now. When it is then plugged into a balanced input, the 180 degree out of phase signal is once again, it's phase inverted, okay? It's phase inverted on the input. So now they are both in phase, right? So they're now identical and in phase. So what happens when two identical signals are summed together? The result is you get a roughly 6 dB, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less boost in level. So first of all, what this means is you get virtually, you know, or almost no signal loss when you run a long cable, okay? Right, so unlike, you know, a guitar cable or instrument cable, which we know, we, right, if we run a very, very long cable, we tend to lose, right, some signal, okay? Right, so we lose a little bit, not only some level, but we lose some of the high frequencies as well. Now, secondly, uh, due to its design, the TRS, that same TRS cable, if it picks up any noise along the way, you know, uh, RF noise, electrical noise, or, or wherever that noise may be come from. So when that noise travels to those two wires through the cable, when it arrives at that balance input, one of it gets phase inverted, what happens, okay? The signal, all right, uh, it gets cancelled out. So this is what we call the common mode rejection ratio, okay? Well, noise here, right, being the common mode signal. So when looking at the benefits of using a TRS cable, uh, it comes down to two main benefits, right? So lower, almost kind of negligible signal loss, right? And, right, lower noise. Now, which kind of leads us to a related question. Since the TRS cable performs so much better than a TS, how about if I use a TRS cable in place of a normal guitar cable? Okay, now, this is a good question. Now, while you can plug a quarter inch TRS cable uh, in between your guitar or bass and your amplifier, there's no benefit because the guitar output right, and the uh, amplifier input jacks are all unbalanced, okay? They are unbalanced inputs and they are unbalanced outputs. Now, TRS cables also, right, are also slightly more expensive, right, due to them being a more complex design, right? There's more wiring involved and it's a different connector involved. Okay, now, most of the time, if you do so, okay, there's nothing wrong, okay? Um, and usually there'll be no problems, there'll usually be no issues, but personally, Okay, and I've heard uh, people um, sort of relate this uh, story as well. I have encountered situations where the context, right, for example, on the output jack of the guitar, you know, maybe it could have been misaligned due to a damage or just wear and tear or maybe manufacturing defects. And then when you plug in a TRS into it, it gets misaligned. The connections are not perfect. It doesn't, doesn't connect properly. You get a short and improper connection and you no, know, Sometimes that means no signal. So in short, don't waste your money, okay? Use the appropriate
appropriate cable for the intended purpose. Now, um, kind of back to the first question, if you are really, really tight on a budget, okay, you can use a re regular guitar cable to hook up right to your uh, monitor speakers. And I would say 90% of the time, you're not gonna face any issues, okay? Uh, but if you do get into a situation, if you are using, let's say, a regular guitar cable to connect to your speaker, right, between your interface or mixer into your monitor speaker, and you're getting noise or some kind of signal loss, right, switching to a TRS cable will definitely help. Hopefully I've answered your questions and uh, you won't have any confusions on you know, um, when or where you can use a TS cable or when you can use a TRS cable or whether or not it's used for mono or whether it's used for stereo applications. Well, if you still have any more questions, right, I would always love to hear from you. Uh, please leave them down uh, in the comments below, okay? Uh, thank you for watching. If you have, uh, if you found this video helpful, if you found it informative, please do leave a like. Uh, do share this with your friends. Okay, it will really, really help with the YouTube algorithm. Oh, remember, okay, if you haven't done so, do click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on uh, this video, any any kind of future videos as well. Right? Uh, do check out the rest of the videos I have on my channel. Right? Um, you, I have lots of lots of videos such as these. Right? the weekly uh, update Wednesday Q&A's, I have my uh, mixed stream, live stream videos, tutorial videos, song breakdown videos, and much, much more. I do consider signing up to become a patron. Uh, head on down again, www.patreon.com slash studio2105. Your support is going to be really, really helpful and appreciated. All right, as usual, uh, wherever you may be, do stay safe, right? Continue to wash hands, take care of your personal hygiene, okay? And practice your social distancing. I'll see you soon again in the next video. Till next time, happy recording and mixing.